going on? My name's Max Star, the East London boy. How did I choose my name? Um, do you know what? I was talking about this the other day because I wish I had like an interesting story, but I really don't. Like I, I, I saw it when I was like, I'm 22 now, innit? But when I was like 11, I saw it written on the bus, but like spelled differently. And I've been called that since then. I changed it. I just took it, it, stole the name. <laughs> the original owner found me like a couple of years down the line, and he told me to change my name, but I didn't. So just like as a hobby and that, as as you do kind of thing, because it's like still to this day, it's something that I do and I enjoy. It. Like uh, it's fun for me making music and spitting and rare to tear. So that's all it was before, but. Other people's reception towards me like made it be what it is now, kind of thing. People made me want to take it more seriously. Started getting paid on radio from just recording songs in my boy's bedroom. So, so a lot of support, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, everyone used to pay my songs when I'd be walking through school. The teachers used to call me Max so, Like, I've been, I've been that. From, yeah. Worldwide music as a whole. Like, I listen to a lot of stuff, especially growing up. I listen to the kind of music that my parents listen to, it's mostly like African music and red hair. So you know, you know where you're from? Sierra Leone. Okay. Danny Weed. That's like a producer from Moby. Yeah. And why was that your favorite person? Because at the time when I worked with him, it was like a real special period in terms of like they took me in and I was like in the Royal League studio every day and it was just weird because one part of me was like I used to just watch these guys on TV like how come they're all sitting next to me and stuff like it's weird innit and then he got that he got Wiley to take me to Manchester one time and da -da -da. like you just been a really you don't get to meet many people in the industry that are genuine. Obviously everyone's genuine in, in whatever aspect but in terms of what they say to you and yeah 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 uh, I don't know man, because I would, I would always say, like when I got asked this question, I would always say Kano, but, but I worked with him now, so I really don't know. Out of everything I've ever done, my biggest achievement in my whole career to me is like making some of Kano. I'll be, I'll be at university <laughs> right now. I'm go, they're making me go to uni next year anyway. Um, I don't mind that because it's like obviously education is life is very long. You don't know what you're gonna need. So. I've got an EP coming out on the 23rd of December. It's really big. It's been a long time since I've put like a body of, of work together. This one features Nye. I've got Shuma Nye, I've got Shuma Dot Rotten, and some other person singing. They both sang the chorus. It sounds crazy. Um, and then um, just like my friends, like Sears and Rills, who, who are both on the DVD. And uh, yeah, like it's a really good CD, man. Uh, it's coming out on the 23rd. I'm shooting like 10 videos this month. I'm just gonna flood it. It's coming out on iTunes. It's only four pounds, so I better get that from someone. You know what I'm saying? My real name is Ian. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that is a bit of a surprise. Yeah, so let's just, yeah. <laughs> Twitter and my Instagram is it's Maxstar and my Facebook is just Maxstar so yeah hit me up.